from the Tribune News Network. This is News Break. I'm Kirk Smith. Tuesday's top stories. Health officials hoping it's the beginning of the end of what is being called a third wave of the coronavirus in the country. They reported 30 cases on Saturday, and Sunday's numbers are even lower. Just 27 confirmed cases spread over five islands, 23 of them in the capital. The two days of lower numbers follows the weekend, total of 160 over three days, hospitalizations dropping to 50 with four persons in the ICU. And officials report another death, a 59-year-old New Providence man who passed on April 22nd. Total deaths now at 210. Tourism Minister Diagula with some strong words about vaccine hesitation. He blamed what he called stupid, silly, fake news about the effectiveness of the AstraZeneca vaccine for the problem and says the hesitancy is, in his words, quite worrying. And opposition leader Davis is still critical of the government's overall handling of the corona outbreak in the country. He says the government has continuously dropped the ball in dealing with the situation. This is news break from the Tribune News Network. He didn't give any details, but House Speaker Moultrie told members at the start of yesterday's session that all disputes between the chamber and the executive branch of the government have been resolved following a meeting. Prime Minister Minnis has made no public comment on his relationship with the Speaker when reporters asked him about it in Eleuthera over the weekend. He told them he didn't even think about it and was more concerned with getting people vaccinated against the coronavirus. NEMA urging residents to prepare for the hurricane season now. Hurricane preparedness must become a part of our way of life. We must have our family plans, evacuation plans, community plans, business continuity plans and sector plans all ready to put into action if it becomes necessary. Dodge Director Captain Stephen Russell at a news conference over the weekend. The hurricane season begins officially on June 1st, and initial predictions call for an average season. Colorado State University is predicting there'll be 17 named storms, and four of them could become major storms. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at tribune242.com. Now the Tribune's AccuWeather update, a service of insurance management. No systems in the area now, partly sunny and breezy. Highs in the mid-80s, 86 at Freeport, 87 in the capital, 86 at Matthew Town. Caution flags up for boaters, winds gusting to 20 knots. The sea's up to 6 feet over open waters. Low tide now, the next high around 3 this afternoon. Turning partly cloudy tonight, lows from the mid to upper 70s. For complete weather information, check the Tribune's weather page. For your insurance needs, call Insurance Management. They offer a wide range of insurance products. Give them a call today for all of your insurance needs. With more than 40 years in business, nobody does it better than insurance management. This is News Break from the Tribune News Network. Let the Bahamas and the world know that you're open for business by advertising in the Tribune and on Tribune242.com. Reach the market that'll get your cash registers ringing by calling 502-2394 today. Our professional advertising agents are on hand to customize packages just for you, and consultations are free. Give your business the maximum exposure for an affordable investment, and let us help you increase your sales. Call 502-2394 today. We're open for business. Let the world know you are too. The Tribune, the people. Paper, biggest and best. Tuesday's World News headlines at least 23 persons are dead, more than 70 injured after a subway overpass collapsed in Mexico City, sending a train crashing onto a busy street below. Authorities there are not sure what caused the collapse at this point. The corona situation in India remains out of hand. There are more cases, more deaths in that country, even as other countries send help. Healthcare facilities in that country are about to collapse. The U.S. government has now started to reunite some families which were separated at the border with Mexico during the Trump administration. Microsoft co-founder Bill Gates and his wife Melinda divorcing after 27 years of marriage. Tribune's gas tracker prices for Tuesday, Shell 486, SO 488, Rubus 493 per gallon in the capital. Now your sports notes brought to you by the Tribune Sports Section. Reaction to the cancellation of the Carifta Swimming and Water Polo Championships this year. Opinions in the Tribune Sports. Get the latest on the ongoing preparations for the Olympic Games in Tokyo. 
The NFL draft postmortem continues. The Tribune Sports has the latest on that. And get your NBA and Major League Baseball updates in the Tribune Sports Tuesday. For all of your sports details, you want to check the Tribune Sports section. Everything you need from the world of sports, you'll find in the Tribune Sports. And that's your news break. Details of the day's top stories. In the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning, stay up to date online all day at Tribune242.com.